I'm Peter Jones and I'm Chairman of the Buryport and Pembrey Royal British Legion branch. And we are here today to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the victory of Japan Day. This victory of Japan, in a way, reconciliation should be in everybody's mind, certainly is in mine. But after the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, life will never be the same again. So I think it's very uh, that we remember it as such. Thank you. Um, um, I feel very privileged to be here today as an ex-serviceman and I, I'm so grateful to, for what all these lovely men and women did for us to give us the chance to be here today. And I, I can't thank them enough. It's, it's, it's wonderful what they did for us. I just wish we all appreciated it a little bit more. There you are. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. There we are. Oh, yes, excellent. Good. All the better for seeing you. There we are. I've been knocking the wrong door. <laughs> right. We gathered here to celebrate the 70th anniversary of BE Day. But, of course, we need to remember that in 1945, thousands of miles away from Europe, that the British and Commonwealth Army forces were still fighting in Burma, in Singapore and in Thailand. And it was not until the 14th of August 1945 that the Japanese finally surrendered following the dropping of the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Next, this Wednesday gone, 15th of August 1945 was celebrated as VJ Day. For the British forces over there, it brought to an end three years of continuous fighting for men who, unlike their comrades fighting in Europe, had no leave during which they could go home, even were it but for a few days. They were there for the duration. Their only hope of seeing England was in the victory. Of around 300,000 Allied troops that were taken prisoners of war, merely 200,000 were able to stay to see that victory. The loss of life on both sides was nothing short of horrendous. But with that surrender, the Second World War, a war that had stopped the world in its tracks, was finally over. In the words of King George VI, the surrender of Japan has brought to an end six years of warfare, which has caused untold loss and misery to the whole world. Well, of course, it is that final secession of the war that we gather here today to give thanks for. But as we do so, we cannot but remember with sadness the price that was paid by so many on both sides for the ultimate price of peace. Today there will be many prayers around the world offered for that peace to continue in our time and that it may spread to the many war-torn countries in the world. But as we do so, we remember the high price 
that so many continue to pay, not only those of our armed forces and their families, but also the countless number of those unknown to us who have had to suffer the loss and hardship that such wars bring. Sadly, such is the price of distrust and hatred in our world that ends in conflict and in war, where violence is repeatedly seen as the only way to peace. So as we gather here together, let us commemorate and commend to the loving mercy of God, the shepherd of souls, the giver of life everlasting, those who have died in war for our country and its cause. They shall grow not old as we that are left for a world. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will remember them. them. Ni hen a iriant hoi vel ni a ad awyd. Ni ddwg oed i ddynt li ded. Na'r brynad oedd gosfar mwy. Pan elor hael i lawr ac ar wawr y bore. Ni a'i cofion hwy. Ni a'i cofion hwy. Ni a'i cofion hwy. Grant them, O Lord, eternal rest.
when you go home, tell them, us, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we give our today. Panewch ragoch, dywedwch amdano ni, a'n heddiw ar oesom, a'n mai chyfori chwi. Thy kingdom come, O God. God, the creator and father both of our mortal and the immortal life, we give high praise and humble thanks for all thy sons and daughters who counted not their lives dear unto themselves, but laid them down for their friends, beseeching thee to grant unto them light and peace in the heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Grant unto the living grace and to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and <coughs> remain with you this day and always. Amen.